Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And what I want to show you in this quick tutorial is how to do a basic clock animation. I'm not going to show you how to make it look pretty. I'm just going to do the down, dirty, nitty gritty, like bake the cake, not the frosting, how to do a simple clock animation and show you how easy it is to do in Toon Boom Animate. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's stop this here. I'm going to do... Let's go ahead and open up a document here. Uh, actually, let's just do a new document. I'm going to use my 720p 15 frames per second. I'll call this something complicated like clock 003. All right, and let's turn off our animate button. And in our timeline view, I'm going to go ahead and Rename this layer to Face. And let's go to our Tools. And I'm going to grab the Ellipse Tool. And in Tool Properties, I want to grab a decent stroke here. I have mine at Pencil 3. So in our Camera View, I want to hold down my Option key and Shift key, that's Alt and Shift on PC. I'm going to simply click and drag outward. And pretty much by holding down the Option and Shift key, I'm dragging this out from the center. All right, so there is our little clock face. And let's go to our tools, get Select here. I'm going to click once. And I'm seeing about where the center of that is, which is going to be important. Okay, and I want to show you a trick. I'm going to grab my brush tool, and I don't see where the center of that is, but I'm going to hold down my command key, control on PC, and you kind of see there. Now, I still have my brush tool activated, so as soon as I let go, I can simply drag a little dot there so I know where the center of that is. Okay, now let's add a couple of layers. But first and foremost, in our timeline view, I'm going to extend our face layer to about 60 frames. Let's do F5. And I'm going to add another drawing layer. We'll do the hour hand. And we'll do the minute hand. Another drawing layer here. Now, if you're anything like me, you had to kind of uh, start going, okay, which one was the hour hand, which one is the minute hand? Because it's been a while since you had to sit in elementary school and go, okay, this is how to tell time, and this is what we call this, blah, blah, blah. All right, so, hour hand. Let's see. What we want to do is, I think I'm going to grab a rectangle tool here. And I want to click and drag just straight off here. It's going to be a very short one. Now, I still have my Pencil 3 selected, so it's a very thick line there. So it's, I think I'm going to undo that. And I think I'm going to... Hmm, let me make it a little bit thinner there. So this is supposed to be the hour hand, so this is a shorter one. Okay, and then on the minute hand, we'll make that a little bit longer. Okay, and I want to extend both of these, so select in the timeline uh, both layers, the minute hand layer and the hour hand layer. Let's do F5, so that's playing the entire time. And let's go and grab our pivot tool and I'm going to zoom in here on our make sure our camera view is active let's zoom in and I'm going to click about here for our center and on the next one I'll do the same thing all right and last but not least let's zoom out Okay, on our 
timeline layer, I want to select the face of the clock here. And we did forget one little bit of window dressing. Again, not trying to make this look pretty, but we at least want to do something like grab my brush tool. Let's do 12 o'clock, uh, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. All right, so that would be 9, 8, 7, 5, and 4. Put these little lines here. Just very, very ugly little indicators of where those little marks would be. And again, what's the cool thing about this is you can always come back in later and make it pretty. So I'm going to turn on uh, our animate. And let's see, our hour hand and our minute hand and our timeline. Let's go ahead and drop in a keyframe. Let's do F6. And we're going to go all the way to frame 60 in the timeline. And by frame 60, right now, pretty much I've drawn this out to be at three o'clock. But by frame 60, what I would like is it to be six o'clock. So I'm going to select our transform here. And actually, instead of transform, what I want to use is an advanced animation tool. I'm going to use the rotate tool. Now, if you don't see this, go under Windows, Toolbars, Advanced Animation, and that will show up. So what I want to do, let's click on the Rotate tool, and I'm going to turn this down to 6 o'clock. All right, so scrub this back. Looks pretty cool. So it's just going to 6 o'clock. Now, here's the awesome thing. On our minute hand layer, I'm going to move the playhead to frame 60. Okay, if we are initially at 3 o'clock and we want it to be 6 o'clock, that's three hours later. So here's what we're going to do. We'll grab the minute hand on our, pretty much in our camera view here, and I'm going to rotate this all the way around to 12. So that's once. I'm going to do it again, twice, and then last time, three times. Okay, so when I scrub this back, you'll see how many times the minute hand spins there. So I'll play this once, twice, and three times. So you actually see how this is working. Okay, and that's how you can get the time done. And it's a really cool effect. That's pretty cool. Very simple to do. And we'll stop this. And of course, after you're done with getting that done. Now, me personally, I like to work this way. So I just come in later and go, all right, where's my paint bucket? Um, I'll fill in my little hour hands and minute hands. And go to the face and let's see, grab white there or some junk. All right, so we'll do that. Uh, make sure we fill in that little spot. And voila, it looks awesome now. All right, that's how you can do a clock animation. And you can do it pretty quick and you can make it look pretty. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this, as well as go to Facebook and like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. We often run some deals where we let people know how to get our DVDs at a discounted price. And we have a new Toon Boom DVD coming out in September. And it's the anatomy of a 30 second short. And we get a little more elaborate into what exactly we did uh, with the clock animation, also an hourglass animation that we did. So anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.